Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies. And for those who want this end of the month blessings. Let them raise up their voices like fire and like thunder. With a voice that is not ready to compromise. Can you shout this loud and clear? All my stubborn pursuers. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Command them to be wasted. Somebody needs to shout this loud. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power sponsoring my suffering can you shout it loud expire in the name of Jesus today is the expiry date command them to expire In Jesus' name we pray. Say so every darkness that has covered the face of my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Thank you, choir and orchestra. God bless you. Raise up your two hands to the Lord where you are and sing this loud and clear. Unto thee, O Lord. Just a few announcements, beloved. Don't forget this. My story must change program. On two more Wednesday for that program. I must come with a list of where you want the story to change in your life. Also, don't forget the last edition of the family deliverance. Taking place on Saturday, Palm of Changers. Come with a list of the names of your family members. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Let's rise up on our feet now. As you sing this song louder than anyone around you. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord. A joyful song, I will praise His name, for the Lord is good. Oh, I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise His name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. Oh yes, oh yes. I will praise His name, Your hand, for your hand, the Lord your hand, is good. Your hand, your hand. The Lord is, the Lord is. Be 
miracle. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. Connecting me, 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 connecting me. Shout hallelujah! Let that be silence. Please don't say anything. Don't even say amen. When I'm ready for you to say amen, I will let you know. Father, we thank you for protecting your children and for making them see the last Sunday in this month. We thank you for the 70 days prayer and fasting program. And we thank you for the amazing testimonies. We give you praise, O oh Lord. Blessings abound where you reign. And those who are in captivity are set free. You queried the people in those days. But why should this daughter of Abraham suffer on the Sabbath day? And it is written that oppression shall be far away from your people. Therefore, every conscious and unconscious oppression in the head, in the eyes, in the chest, in the legs, in the womb, the backbone, in the legs, troubling any of your children here. Every spirit behind any captivity, every spirit troubling the peace of the Israel of any of your child in this service right now, or troubling the Israel of anyone who is connected to us, watching us. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, about whom it is written, for he has given him a name which is far above all names, far above every principality and power, far above every name that is to be named. Therefore, you this stubborn spirit husband that you say this woman will not have a child take your evil hands away from her now take it away from the womb take it away from the waist take it away from the head remove your evil wedding rings for my fingers right now in the name of Jesus the virtues that is buried in the waters just begin to recover them as the first person that's number two as a vote Panic eruption under the belly of somebody. They have fed you with poison in your dream. It's coming out now. You cannot stay. No, you cannot stay. You cannot stay. All the spiritual chains on the legs, on the hands, be broken, 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 be broken. Something is happening in that gallery. Yes, the chains on the hands and on the legs is broken, is broken in the name of Jesus.
You the spirit of death and hell. Harassing this sister. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. Any organ in the body that is being cooked in the cauldron of darkness be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released. Let the wind of the power of God begin to fall on all who are gathered there and let the arrows of domestic witchcraft the arrows from the pit begin to go out go out receive the wind the wind the wind and the arrows begin to go out go out go out go out in the name of Jesus So what is going on now? It's a surgery on the body. I'm going to count seven from here. There are 21 persons. You will feel the fire of God coming upon you. And then on common and unexpected favors that will change your story will fall upon you as a candy seven from here the power will fall upon you where you are one two three four five six seven I said, let her go. I told you before. Let her go. The serpent you are putting in her body is on fire. It's 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 on fire. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus. I decree upon you now. Let there be a sevenfold giant amen to this. If you know it is your lot and that God is setting you free. I decree upon your life that every stronghold of failure attacking your destiny die in the name the earth shall open up and swallow anything delegated to pull you down in the name of Jesus. loud and clear. Witchcraft embargo. Shout it with fire and with thunder. Let your voice be the loudest here. Place on my star. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Continue. 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 
Makari do seteli ke yebo shen tera bosa. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, I see going back to that prayer. But if you are here, there is an evil clinical prophecy concerning your pregnancy. Find your way to this altar here now and get on your knees. You are pregnant. There is an evil clinical prophecy on that pregnancy. Find the way to this altar now and pray with fire and with power. Get yourself ready again. Some fresh angels are just moving to the mist because of the embargo of witchcraft that you are breaking. Makatende la kaya boshende, ribo sepi la katenda le kaya bosham palaba. Witchcraft embargo. I sign against my star. Let your voice roar like thunder. Your voice is not loud enough. What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus. Those of you at the altar, come back, come back to the altar, come back to the altar, come back, come back, come back, come back to the altar. Ministers anoint their chest, not the head, the chest. Their chest, not their, not their head. Get to separate again. Witchcraft hamburger! I sign against my star. What are you waiting for? Death! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. name we pray I have two words of prophecy I don't know who you are I don't know who you are but the Lord said I should tell you that the door of joy that has been closed against you for years have been opened now Jesus. Secondly, Lord said, I someone here. See, they have gathered together to plan your disgrace. But they shall be scattered unto desolation. In the name of Jesus. Silence. 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 Woman, the spirit of your grandmother who actually ate your placenta is coming out of you now. Let her go. Let her go. I 
I have a word for somebody here. You run a shop. The business is sluggish and slow. I have a word for you. That within the next seven days, there shall be uncommon breakthroughs in that place. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we thank you for your grace, your power, your love, and might. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, continue to lay your hands upon your people. Every decision, expectation, wish, and prayer of the enemy against anyone here. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Silence again. You, the village witchcraft, always coming to the dream of this person. Always in the dream of this person. Beginning from today, you must not appear anymore. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth now. Don't say anything. Just keep that mouth open. Yes. Let the blood, the blood of Jesus begin to enter into every mouth. Here now. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. As you take our Bibles, the abnormal blindness. The abnormal blindness. Please listen to this message very carefully. The abnormal blindness. Acts of Apostles. Chapter 28. From verse 26. Or I read from 25. Acts of Apostles chapter 28 from 25 if you are say yes Acts 28 from 25 and when they agreed not among themselves they departed after that Paul has spoken one word Paul was telling them the truth they were arguing 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 and you know argument is always an evidence of ignorance that were arguing then he said what I have one more word for you after that Paul has spoken one word well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers saying go unto these people and say hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand and seeing 
ye shall see and not perceive what a strange word for the heart of these people is wax gross and their ears their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have they closed they close their eyes and they say if somebody closes his eyes and he says he's sleeping and he's not sleeping it is him who will tell you when he's, he has woken up because he's the one who said he's sleeping although he's not sleeping see their eyes have the closed why lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Beloved, there is a tragedy that has been plaguing men for years and is still plaguing them even as I speak. Many are in a place of divine blessings. Yet, the place could not become a place of celebration for them as it was meant to be. Some are in a place of celebration. But it has become a place of fear and defeat for them. This is what I'm trying to make you understand. It is possible to be in a place of blessing and not enjoy the glory of that location. It is possible for you to be inside the mountain of fire and miracles ministry and not enjoy the glory of that location. It is a tragedy. God has brought many to a place of blessings. A place of blessings. I have tons and tons of testimonies of people who never came to Mountain of Fire because somebody invited them. They saw it. God said, Go there. I've had testimony from so many people who in their dream they came under attack and they saw a man came there and said leave me alone leave me alone and they left and fled and the person one day was looking at the internet and saw my face. See, so this was the man who came to my dream that day and commanded those people to scatter to leave me alone. It wasn't me they saw. It's an angel of God. So, and I began to ask question: Why is this church? Why is this church? That's how they came here. God has brought many to a place of blessing, but some they are more conscious of the enemy. So, so fearful. Instead of keen into the truth of the moment so they come to church and remain aloof group they don't have house fellowship they don't participate they don't mix with anybody they just come and go they come and go they come and go you are in a location of blessing 
you are making yourself a temporary resident. Or go and come, go and come resident. It's a strange spiritual blindness. I pray that one day when we are praying here that's why there is nothing as powerful as this united prayer we pray. I'm praying that one day as we are praying here God should just open your eyes briefly <laughs> to see the transactions taking place if you see it once if I say open your mouth to pray you will pray with violent madness and because many never see it they, so they don't really know where they are the mountain of fire and miracles ministry is the mountain of fire and miracles ministry it's not any other church no it's not any other church no it's different our focus is different our prayer is different our deliverance is different we don't copy anybody we take instructions from heaven download it to the earth and people begin to key into it so it is one thing to arrive in the place of blessing it's another thing to know that you are there a man could be in the very center of blessing center yet is destroyed because of lack of knowledge until you know that you are there you cannot begin to do what you should do to maximize your opportunity Jacob ran away to go back home from where he ran before his brother was waiting to destroy him and he arrived at better he did not know that to where he was is not only this place of God but the, the, this set gate of heaven habitation of heaven gate of heaven he didn't know that that's why he has arrived say so surely the Lord is in this place and I know it not Jesus wept over the city of Jerusalem he said Jerusalem, Jerusalem 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 all the prophets that they are sending to you, you are killing them. And that destruction is coming. Why? They did not know the time of their visitation. They cried to Jehovah for salvation. Jehovah save us, Jehovah save us. They cried for a long time when that Jehovah eventually came they did not recognize him what a strange blindness can you raise up your right hand to the heavens and if you love your destiny to shout this loud and clear spiritual blindness I am not your candidate in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is why parents say, I have to be very careful. You came to the mountain of fire miracles ministry. You had a child anointed by God inside the mountain of fire miracles ministry. So you lost the control over that child who was bad in prayers. And so the child now 
goes out of mountain of fire to go to a prayerless place where his destiny cannot be sustained and now you are crying that that's a problem God brought you and that child for a purpose so whatever you can do to see that they don't run away from where they need the prayer cover you better do it majority of those running to prayer city for deliverance day and night are people who had the truth before but they took it lightly or who were even laughing at those who were saying it laughing at those who were saying it parents have to be very careful when something is conceived incubated and birthed in prayers and you take the person out the prayer cover goes away certainly the person will run into trouble later because that's what is supposed to sustain him that's why he was brought here to start with unfortunately sometimes they become 40 50 years old before they now realize that they have lost speed sometimes they try to come back say I was here when you started then I left now I'm back so for 25 years the enemy has been draining this person who ran away from a place of blessing that God brought him but he didn't know that this is the place of blessing the Israelites cried for the Messiah to come Messiah came they did not recognize him they were unable to tell where they were at that time they could not avail themselves the opportunity that the Messiah that came offered because they were still looking ahead for another visitation which was and the thing is already overtaking them they had reached the point of answered prayers but unfortunately they did not know there are many who come to the mountain of fire they reach the point of answered prayer they live why did you leave uh, one pastor did something bad why did you leave somebody spoke to me one kind why did you leave they asked me to remove my lipstick when I got to the door why did you leave they asked, it, they, asked it, they asked me to remove my chain by the gate why did you leave I'm tired of prayer why did you leave I don't like their dress. They had arrived at the arena of answered prayers. They themselves, like the Bible says, they close their eyes. They close themselves. They close their eyes. So they got out of the place, roaming around the mountains, going from prophet to prophet. When a greater prophet is inside you, going from prophet to prophet, thinking that all prophets, all who call themselves prophets, are prophets of God. Not having read the scriptures. They say that false prophets, even false Christ, shall arise. And they shall deceive many. Are you here listening to me? 
going from mountain to mountain, from one prophet to another. I'm sorry for you. The simple thing is this your head is not correct. Because if it's correct, you will see that God has brought you to the arena of answered prayers. All you need to do is to key into that arena and then follow all they are telling you step by step, stage by stage. The Israelites reached the point of answered prayers, but they did not know it. They were blinded to the moment of their blessing. That was what caused Jesus to start crying. The Bible says Jesus started weeping. So, ah, so what is this? How can somebody be so close to breakthrough? And yet jump out of it like that. They fail to maximize the moment. Like I told you before, Jacob, why fleeing from Esau? Got to Bethel. The house of God. Yet he did not realize where he had reached until God graciously intervened in a dream. Oh, only then did he realize that this place is not only the residence of God, but the gate of heaven. As God brought you already to this place of breakthrough. Listen carefully. And you are yet to realize it. As he brought you at last to the place of freedom after many years of painful oppression by the enemy. Is it possible that you cannot even know the time of your visitation? Are you hiding whereas the time has come for you to manifest? Have you arrived at this right place but you are still doing the wrong things? In this right place you are doing the wrong thing? You are still coming to MFM. And the woman by your side is not your wife. Your true wife is at home. He says, you are coming to church with a strange woman. Your head is not correct. In this place, trouble. If you if you are like that. It's a tragedy not to know where you are rich in God's journey of your life. It's, it's, an, it's a strange blindness. I'm asking you now before we start praying. What time is it in your life now? Now. What time is it? I must tell you. This is not the time of the enemy's triumph over your life. This is not the time of captivity and trouble. It is time for you to discover yourself and your place in God's agenda. It is time for you to realize that if you are in this church, those you fear unknown to you. They fear you even more. They, they are afraid that one day you just wake up, you, you marshal all your weapons against them, but so they are trying to keep you away from using that weapon. They are afraid of you, but you, you too are scared of them, but they are more afraid of you. That 
is why armed robbers come to houses, kidnappers come to places, they see MFM logo, they see you say MFM member, they say, excuse me. So, so madam, take your bag. Take your money. I can see this logo on your bag. So, please, please, don't pray against us. We didn't take anything from you. Say it after me. We didn't take anything from you. We will go to the other places. They fear you even more than you are afraid of them. Those wishes are scared of the day you just wake up and take some warfare against them. They know you are loaded. They know that God loads people here. So, so they are scared. They're scared of you. But when you don't use that weapon, it is not the fault of the Almighty. You have to learn the principle of converting sound into rain. Convert sound into rain. First Kings chapter 18 verse 41 1 Kings 18 41 1 Kings 18 41 it is, it is not all that guilt us that is gold the place of blessing may not be very attractive to you. <laughs> but it is still the place of blessing. It's a place of blessing. A woman came to Mountain of Fire many years ago. She was the first professor of first woman professor of medicine in Nigeria. Came, the place was full. So the place you could sit. This place was not like this at that time. It was on top of a pond over there. Pond over there. That time that we used to remove our shoes before coming here. <laughs> she sat down there. When I saw her in the service, I said, Professor, you are here? Professor, Say yes. Yes, sir. I sat down by the pond. <laughs> but the blessings I receive is more is 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 more advantageous than where I was sitting down. God began to promote her and promote her and promote her. She sat by the pond, but she understood where she was. But if you are in Mountain of Fire, uh, shopping around, you are shopping. It means, it means you, don't, you, don't, you don't know where you are. If you understand the power thereof, the covenant thereof, you're not right. Rather, you try and obey all the instructions you are given. You must learn the principle of converting sounds into rain. First Kings 18, verse 41. First Kings 18, 41. And Elijah said unto him, Get your eat and drink for there is a sound sound of abundance of rain there was no rain yet but Elijah said I can hear the sound sound so Ahab went to eat and to drink and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant go up now, look towards the sea 
And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. He said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. No rain yet. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get it down, that the rain stop thee not. It has not started, has not started to rain yet. And it came to pass in the mean while that the heavens was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain there was great rain sound the principle of converting the sound you are hearing into rain when you come for prayer meeting hearing the sound prophet Elijah went into the laboratory of intercession to convert the prophetic sound he was hearing to tangible rain. We therefore urgently need to understand how we can be converting our sound to rain with prayer. Many hear the sound. They don't convert it to rain. They hear the sound. But they run away. They don't realize the power of the moment. Today, you need to become a friend of God. You need to repent from all your sins. You need to follow all the teachings they are teaching you here. Carefully and cautiously. Don't pick and choose. Pick and choose. Pick and choose. I like this. I don't like that. I like this. I like that. No, no, no. Don't follow everything they ask you to do. Don't dress one kind in church, dress another kind outside. Don't pretend. Don't be an hypocrite before God. The Lord is waiting to bless you. I'm praying that that strange blindness plaguing so many believers shall not be your lot in the name of Jesus. We must violently and mercilessly deal with this kind of blindness. We must pray for the miracle of open eyes so you can catch the opportunity of the moment. You are coming to MFM it's an opportunity. You are coming here to pray it's an opportunity. You are getting to know us here it's an opportunity. God's best gifts to us is most times not in things that he gives. God's best gifts to us is majorly opportunities. Opportunities. A lot of people were following Jesus but the woman with the usual of blood seemed to know him more than all those people. A crowd was following Jesus. It was only blind Bartimaeus that realized. Eh? These people don't know this man they are following. He has the power to do anything. And he stole the moment. He did not waste the opportunity. Rise to your feet now, blood. And all eyes closed. But you see, if you are here today, you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. I want to give you that opportunity 
before we start praying now. So wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I too want to experience the miracle of open eyes. I'm tired of the enemy tossing me here and there. Leave that seat and find a way quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Do so very quickly. Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for this, your children. I have surrendered their lives to you today. Lay your hands upon their lives. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please see this pastor over there. Just, just follow him for a few minutes. And you can join us later. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. Chino ekene me ma imela ekeleji ringi imela papa. upon your eyes and shout this loud and clear my heart hear the word of the Lord open my fire in the name of Jesus name we pray may put your hand down now say I bind and cast out every spirit of error can you shout it loud in the name of Jesus open your mouth and say it Jesus name we pray 
three strange prayers. When you face a strange problem, you pray, you pray strange prayers. Don't worry about the wordings. Just pray with violence. Every sacrifice. Place in the covenant against my celebration. Can you shout it loud? There is a sister who needs to shout this loud. Jesus. Open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number two. <laughs> Strange prayer. Every feet of the wicked assigned to walk over me. Can you shout it loud? I caught you off in the name of Jesus. name we pray powers that want to cover my glory I crush you to powder can you shout his love in the name of Jesus crush them to powder Jesus name we pray a louder amen please bring out your thanks and your offering for this meeting please father we thank you for the thanks and the offering good measure praise and falling over let it be our lot in the name of Jesus continue to bless us to a mighty degree in Jesus mighty name we pray you find the offering boxes before you. Let's try to have it, please. As you stretch your two hands forward, and you begin to prophesy into the womb of November, that it must favor you. The hand of God shall be upon you. Your testimony shall be secured. All the malpractices of the enemy shall quench. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. As you go into another month, it shall be well with you. All the tragedy left in this year is minus you and your family. The Lord bless you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Father, your children have written prayer requests here. Just like the letter of Ezekiah, I raise their prayer request before you. Answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. Every point written in this letter's air shall become mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And let us share the grace in fellowship.
reflection of the Holy Spirit. Do with us now forever. Sure.